got some Hoyas here. I am afraid. Are you gonna hunt us down or something? What? I tried to work from home today, and uh, the only thing that kept me going was knowing that this box was going to arrive today. Mommy has scissors. Thank you. Big scissors. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> I've got the Russian Hoyas. I ordered these packages so far apart that never in my wildest imagination did I think they were going to arrive on the same day. So I'm gonna, hmm, I don't know which one to open first. So this one I got off of Etsy. It is a mystery uh, Hoya Cuttings that I got from a shop that I follow on Instagram. I have no idea what's in here. Um, the seller was super nice, but it did, shipping got delayed a little bit. How do I open this? Um, so I'll open this one first, because it's a mystery. I know it's in the other box. I'm afraid to open the other box, because it's been in the mail since August 17th. Um, but we'll get to that one in a second. I'm at a point right now where I am panic buying plants because I'm going to take a break from buying plants for winter starting October 1st because I don't want to risk the shipping damage. <sighs> okay, so there should be three or four cuttings. I did tell her what kinds of Hoyas I already had um, so that I hopefully wouldn't get repeats. I see three cuttings here. Okay, they're taped down. Are you wanting to see what they are? Yeah. Okay. I love them. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to what I'm telling us. I have no idea what this is. I thought I would at least know what they are. This fuzzy. All right, let me see. Okay, so there is, oh, this is probably the Hoya Bretonii. Oh, wow. Just kidding. Oh my gosh. This is a very generous cutting. And it's so fuzzy. I like the fuzzy leaves. <laughs> Do you feel how fuzzy it is? Oh, it's so make, beautiful. You can make a coat out of these leaves and the people will So this is them. the... Bretoni eye. Oh, maybe, wow. Maybe it's so pretty. So that makes this one the Numa, maybe? I'll have to look that up. Because I'm pretty sure that's not Hoya Bella. So that's exciting. So yeah, I kind of saw the leaf poking out of the end of this, and I thought it looked like Hoya Bella. So this one is the Hoya Bella. Um, it's not my favorite, but you know, here we are. Now I have her and, um, this is also a pretty nice cutting. Um, so we'll give it a shot. What am I doing? Okay. So I don't know if you can tell, um, I'm not going to show my address. This is a box of Hoya from Russia. Um, I ordered this in July and it shipped August 17th. Uh, so, I need your help, Mommy. do you need my help? What? what? Opening this. Okay, I'm not opening the putty for you right now. So, I feel like if you are interested in collecting Hoya at all, then you have heard of people buying Hoya from Russia, from Margarita Hoya. Um, I definitely heard about her through the grapevine, and even though this has been in the mail for a very long time, I'm optimistic that they're okay. At least three out of the four of them should be fine. Um, one of them might not be, but I ordered, already ordered a, uh, a duplicate of that couple of weeks ago that arrived and is doing well um with the idea that if this one didn't make it 
the one from Margarita Hoya didn't make it, that I would at least have that one so I wouldn't be sad and that if they both made it, I would have a fuller plant. So, this one looks like This is the Tom and Sony eye and it is furry. Like the other one is velvety, but this one is furry. I think you got a little bit of fur on my finger. Or dirt. Or dirt, probably dirt. You're right. Feel that? I can't make part of my finger. Edit the video. So this is the Tom and Sony eye and um, it looks like there's a little bit of deadness on it um but overall it looks pretty dang good hey, this was a wish list way up so i'm so happy to have it So this one is the Carnosa Stardust. Um, it's definitely looking a little bit dehydrated, so I'm gonna need to water it soon, but it's got some pretty decent little roots in there. It's pretty. Can you see that? Not really, hold on. Hmm. So it's got A pretty nice splash on it. The backs of the leaves are not really fuzzy, which I thought it would be because um, even like my Crimson Princess, which is a Carnosa, it's not fuzzy. Um, no. Um, which is a Carnosa has fuzzy on the backs of the leaves. That is very pretty. It's um, a lot more veiny and dented than I expected it to be. That might be because it's a little bit dehydrated. All right. Oh crap. Ooh, she wrinkly. Are you okay? Uh, this one definitely needs a drink because it is wrinkly. Um, but this is a Finlay Sony Eye. I'm pretty excited about this one. I only had two more pairs before that had to fall. See. And I don't know if you can really see like how pretty that is, but it's definitely a little bit wrinkly there. So um, gonna get him a little little drink. This one should be the Linearis. Um, it's the one that I said I already got a duplicate of because I wasn't sure if it was going to make it after being in the mail for so long. Oh, she looks okay. Oh, a couple of the little strands are a little bit yellow. Yeah, this is the one that we already have one of. That's the Linearis. This is the one I was worried about. It could have been looking better. So it looks like it lost the leaves over here on this end, but the nodes look like they're still okay. Um, and then some of these leaves are a little bit yellow. So I will give this guy a drink and then let it settle and see how it goes. Um, but it is looking okay, considering how long it was in the mail. See that? I don't even know what that is. Perlite? Sand? It literally looks like perlite and sand. 
that what Linearis needs? Okay. Here's all the Hoyas. Not all of them. That's the Russian ones. Here are the Etsy ones. I have lots of them now. I'm gonna grow them up so that I can do some trades and keep growing them. You wanna do some trades? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Uh, at least you don't have to wait uh, three weeks for another video. That's a bonus. I'm gonna have a couple more plants coming. Like I said, um, I'm going to be taking a break from plant buying, um, at least plants in the mail. I might go to Lowe's for a little bit, um, but come October 1st, I'm not ordering anymore through the mail. Uh, and come October 1st, I'm not going to be purchasing anymore in person either. I'm gonna take a little break for winter and focus on the plants that I have. Um, only because I want to make sure that the plants that I have survive winter and I don't want to be trying to rehab plants in winter while trying to keep the plants that I already have alive. So, so I guess while I kind of get the fluff off of these, um, I'll tell you, I am really just looking for a couple of other Hoya, um, that are pretty common. I feel like they're, I'm not looking for many of the super rare ones. I know what they are, but I want like a Hoya Compacta Variegata. I want a Crimson Queen. I have a Crimson Princess. I just want the Crimson Queen and like an Obavada. Those are kind of like the top Hoya that I want right now. I'm not super pressed for the really expensive one. Um, I would like a Polyneura, the fishtail one, and uh, maybe like a Serpens, and I don't know. I like some of the really big, veiny, Jurassic ones with the huge leaves, but I don't have any like names written down specifically of ones that I want. Um, so I'm happy to have these. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.